what is up everybody welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here hit that like button hit that subscribe button join our family as well as make sure you smash that notification button that way you can be notified every time we drop a new video talking about new videos we're dropping new videos every week on the channel of new games so definitely go check it out if you haven't checked out last week's video i recommend it we started doing the first 25 levels and there were supposed to be two parts to it I had, uh, apparently it didn't record. I thought I hit the record button and I didn't record us getting out of there. As you can see, I didn't skip any more levels. We got to uh, 25. Uh, it said 27 total. That's because we skipped two levels in part one with our fishing rod. We explored some of the items. Um, we'll go over that a little bit more in a little bit. Uh, the first video that we did of this was not last week, but the week before last of the five and 10 minute one. So definitely go check those out they definitely shuffle random so we definitely get uh every time you finish one of these blocks you go to a random shift now this is a 12 by 20 that's 240 there are uh definitely some behind it that go you got your cave system you got a couple off the wall and then back there further there's some uh slime jumps or droppers or something i'm not 100 sure i never got one of those but we're kind of just going to fly by and check them out. Oh, whoa, hey, 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 hey. No reason to be aggressive. I don't know why you just teleported me there. We're going to be careful. We're not going to be in your fly zone anymore. But just to kind of give it a once over, uh, because I, I didn't record part two, and I'm not going to go back into another 50 levels or 25 levels. Wow, that looks really long. That must be that long thing we've seen behind it. Um, kind of just going to fly over two rooms at a time and just kind of check it out. That, uh, to give to give credit to the guy that built it um, when we fly back over to the center platform and also I gave credit in the description below as well as a link uh, now we can't see in all the rooms and they're kind of just a flyby you can pause and check them out if you want to at any given time um, there's some really cool ones I haven't experienced any of them I've had some doubles I'll look at the command block oh in the emerald room all oh, the shuffle Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's some really cool rooms here that we never got to experience, and there's no way to do them in order. Even when you do the 25, the 50, or the minute one, we ran into some serious doubles. Not serious doubles, but a couple doubles. Uh, and no particular room leads you to another room. So basically, say the diamond one, you went to the gold, or the clay right here. Say you got that one again. It's not going to take you to that one again. It may take you down there. So there's no rhyme or reason. It's all random based. So it's uh, I like that. That one's King of the Hill. That one's really fun. Um, oh wow. But anyway, I just want to kind of give a close over since we have the opportunity. Since I didn't record, I just want to take the time to kind of just fly around and show you the levels. Now the one thing I will say about this lava level, I wish I would have got a lava level. Oh, there's an end level. All these levels look cool. So I highly recommend playing it. You can play it with your friends. You can turn items on, which you can use like Mario Kart style to boost you or hurt them. First one to 25. Uh, who can get the most done in five or ten? So it's it's really fun. They're short, easy. Fun to do with people. Highly recommend this. Great build. And it's based off the newest Minecraft 1.18.1. So really nice. As well as something else I will say. If you want to get better at parkour, I recommend this map. Now the reason I recommend this map, if you want to get better at parkour, is because a lot of times, if you're like me, you struggle with certain jumps. Like overhead jumps, or fence jumps, or around the corner jumps, or... Um, last minute jumps or uh, ones that you need to go ahead and be doing like double jumps um, and what's great about this is this will give you the ability to take on every one of those types of jumps but never all of them in a scenario you know, like if you've watched any of my parkour courses um, I've done some really big parkour courses where I've spent five or ten minutes going through checkpoints from one checkpoint to the next and in that process, I'll encounter a bunch of these jumps. And some of them I got on luck. Some of them I didn't. Um, I don't know what that guy's doing. And then you get to the very end and you conquer one of these. Or you come across another difficult jump you struggle with. And then you fall. And you have to go back. And then you get stuck on the other jumps that you happen to get by luck in one run. Um, and those courses did make me better. It just took me a lot longer. It got frustrated. And it's just, it's, oh, all right, well, we'll check out the bottom room right quick. 
So, but this one allows you to come across one or two of these jumps at the most. Generally, it's like one type of jump per little area, like around the corner there, or headbanger there, or roof jump, or timing, and they're short. Plus, you get a fishing rod, so if you find it difficult, you can always skip it. And there's 250 of these levels, if I remember the description right. Now, that's 240. That's 12 by 20. And then you have the cave system back here. You have some stuff that extends. I'm assuming that's just those rooms. Uh, but you do, there's the extra, uh, oh, that's another little area. That's not even the extended hallway. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's the cave system we go in. This here, I think maybe the shuffle that you're seeing over there, that platform isn't thick enough to have anybody in. But these are the ones that have like slimes in them. Um, almost just like a dropper and you have to go through. I'll get up here and show you. I can't go into it. I think there's barrier blocks and I'm not going to diminish the course any because I plan to come back and play it again. But as look, you got to bounce through these holes with the slime. Uh, and it goes for on. And uh, that other carpet one looks like it goes all the way back to here. So there may be some off to the side. Like I said, I counted 12 by 20 unless I miscounted. Um, which would be 240 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, with some of the odd end ones hanging around here in different areas. That you could be teleported to. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's 250 shuffle blocks. And even if it's not, even if it's 242 or 245 and they just round it up or I'm not aware of the rest of them. See, like you got a neither portal there. I don't know why you need that there. So I don't I don't know if there's special ones that aren't shown in the original front here. But I recommend this because this is good training. This will help you definitely. This will help you definitely get better and work on being able to work on the jumps and shuffle between courses. You don't get burnt out as easy. It's really good training. It's super fun. And I, I just overall, I highly recommend shuffle parkour. I mean, I really do uh, for fun, for training, for playing with friends. Uh, this guy here is the guy that made the map. Great, great job. I mean, I really do. I put the description, the link in the description of all the reviews I've done on each section, including this one, guys. Um, highly recommend it. I do. Uh, I haven't hit the YouTube button. Not going to. Um, I don't know what it does. You can check it out. Now, there's been some issues, uh, like whoever I think is running the pack has to hit start. Not, not just anybody can. I think it's whoever's hosting it has to. So there has been some issues with that, but you can definitely check it out on the page where the map is, and they go into detail on what to do. I was playing by myself, so I didn't have to worry about it, but I definitely may invite some people over to do it. And if I do get a good enough crowd and we get a good enough front, I may record it just to see uh, what it's like. But uh, if I do that, I'll definitely post it. But as of right now, that's my review of this parkour course. I love to go through all of them. It would take me some serious time as I average 12 or 13. And I would have to end up beating every one of them. And I've used the fishing rod on a couple of them because they were becoming too time consuming. And I wanted to show off as much as I could of it. But that's going to be pretty much it, guys. I really recommend this map. Also, I hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. Um... Hope everybody's had a good holiday, and even if, even if you didn't have a Valentine, don't worry about it. Just, just know that you yourself are just as special and important. All right, guys, and as always, be safe, keep looking out, and enjoy the videos. Peace out.